Hello, welcome to this tutorial of the Elementi 2016 software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the spreadsheet widgets with a CSV or an Excel file. So first, let's take one of the spreadsheet widgets and drag it over and add it as a layer. And then size and position it where I want. All right, and then let's configure it by double clicking and on the layer in the edit panel. And the first thing we're going to change is the data. So you can double click here or in this box and select your channel. So I have an Excel file right here that I'm going to be using. So when you change your channel to Excel file, this workbook property will show up. Click on where it says none, and that'll allow you to browse to the location of your Excel file. So I'm just going to where mine is. If your Excel file has multiple sheets, which mine does, you can choose which sheet you'd like to use. I'm going to use a welcome screen. And then set up the rest of these properties as you need. Uh, then I'm going to click OK. Now I need to change the text template to map the data. The column headers up here are how you map the data. So you're going to put one of these in double square brackets or multiple. You could do a multiple if you'd like. I'm going to use first floor for right now. So you can double click here or on this pencil. And where it says title, I'm going to type in first floor. You can also format the text if you'd like. I'll keep it as is and then click OK. And it should start showing you the content from the first floor column of data, which it looks like it is. You can change the number of lines, the duration for text, the scroll duration, depending on how much text each cell has. Um, so you can change that as you need. CSVs are very similar. Um, the difference with CSVs is you actually have to designate the path of it. It'll have a property here called the URI. Um, usually CSV files are put on a web server or a location that's accessible using HTTP or HTTPS. Um, in my case, Mine is in my Dropbox public folder, so I'm going to use that. If you right click on the CSV file in a public Dropbox folder, you'll get a copy public link, select that, and then you can paste that in. So you'll get an address that looks like HTTP or HTTPS. You could also put the CSV file locally in your project folder and just put the name of the file here, as long as it's in the same folder location as the spreadsheet widget. Next, under Refresh, I'm going to set it to an amount of time. I don't recommend keeping it when document opens. Uh, and then you can change these settings as you need as well. And then when I click OK, I should see the exact same content. My CSV file is the exact same file. Uh, I just saved it out as a CSV rather than a Excel spreadsheet. So it's the exact same text content. Um, but that's how you can use either an Excel file or a CSV file using our spreadsheets widgets. Thanks very much for watching.